what I'm trying to do is to get things moving uh, so that we can get the stuff here. I've seen all of those uh, pictures. I've heard the complaints uh, from people. I absolutely agree with them. You can't have people who are here who are desperate, who can't get anything to eat and don't have water. It's absolutely basic. It's a little bit like the tsunami, we think, but uh, at this moment we know there's practically nothing left. Uh, most of the things are destroyed. Uh, lots of people homeless, without water, without food. So we also want to set up a water purification system uh, for you know, trying to relieve the most needed. So. so the Canadians are coming, they're bringing C-17s, they're bringing uh, C-130s, they've got their own expeditionary hospitals, forklifts, all the things that I described. It doesn't necessarily need to be applied to Tacloban. As a matter of fact, what they're going to do is they're going to apply it throughout the Visayas Islands. That, that, that's important to understand. And so there are other stricken areas. The U.S. is largely focused on, with the Philippines, on uh, Tacloban and this island of Samar. So what we're, obviously this is the largest uh, concentration of, of people, 350,000 folks at, at Tacloban. We're just doing uh, as much as we can and uh, you know, I put a, a post on Facebook, I said you know, can you help, I'm going up there with a the car. So I got a lot of donations from my, from my friends and family. I've got about a thousand pounds so I've got enough for at least two trips up here. This is the first trip and I'll be coming up again later in the week.